peeps hello 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 so we need to talk okay um so about a week ago now i'm going to be explaining everything that is already out there but i'm going to add to it on what i got spiritually and intuitively of the whole situation and you're probably like candace what situation okay so if you follow me, you already know the first part of the situation. And the situation would be Miss O. Okay. Um, allegedly, of course, you know, she's a billionaire. Um, so I did a reading on Miss O, and she's come up in plenty of readings that I have done. And I posted one of those readings. It was the divination dice on um TikTok. And she had it removed, and it was because she it says that it lacks integrity towards her. <laughs> so they removed my video. So I'm sitting there like, what the hell? Why would they, you know, just about a, about like a week and a half ago. So I'm like, you know, that don't even make sense, you know, because I'm literally just reading words to you, <laughs> okay? Um, but they all fit. See, that's the part. That they don't explain. <laughs> so anyways. Now. That was about a week and a half ago. And then about. I would say about five days ago. Maybe a week. The most. A week. So a few days after they removed my video. I see a post um, on TikTok. And it was about a girl explaining that you know. The movie had a forty thousand um, dollar sponsorship deal, right? And instead of dispute, uh, distributing the forty thousand dollars to a bunch of different creators to sponsor this, and within the sponsorship details, they wanted um, you know this girl that's doing, or it's supposed to be these people. Um, they're all supposed to be promoting like wearing purple and making purple cakes and purple, 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 purple. purple. Well, first of all, we all know what purple represents. Now, for me, I like it because it's my birthstone, amethyst, not purple, okay? Um, but, the you know, promote the purple, right? So what I see a week ago is basically um, instead of disputing it or distributing it, distributing, distributing it um, through all the people, they chose one girl, one TikToker, one person, Okay, to give her the forty thousand dollars to do a TikTok about it, and she did it. Um, so I was actually telling my hubby about it, and I was like, you know, it's it's just weird. And I said, honestly, I don't even want to see the color purple. I don't want to see it because I feel like, you know, I I understand and I know I don't know no, but I know what happened in the past. Okay with the whole movie of what they're promoting in Color Purple. And I say, it don't sit well with me. I don't want to watch them recreate slaves. I don't want to watch them recreate beating slaves and offing them. I don't want to watch that. I feel like they're trying to keep that spirit alive. Okay, so fast forward now to about mm, maybe two to three days ago, three days max. And this comes up online, okay? And I watched this. I'm going to show you everything that I've watched so that I want you guys to understand how messages work. And I want you guys to be able to know when you're receiving message so that you can actually receive it. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how the message came in and when it came in, okay? So this is the first thing I saw, okay? <laughs> I can't remember her name. I think her name is Danielle. This other child. I just want to know what did Oprah do to Taraj? Like, check this out. Look how she walk up, right? They all walking up. Look at it. Look. Okay, look. They don't greet each other. Taraj, you looking over here in space, just so you don't have to make eye contact with Oprah. Oprah doesn't turn to the side and say to, say anything to her. Okay. I can't remember her name. I think her name is Danielle. This other actress. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie on her, but I love her. Here come Fantasia. And look, she right there by Taraji, right? Right? And look what she do. Look what she do. Scoot them down and get at the end. Now, where y'all know Oprah to want to miss up on being in the middle in a photo? There we go. Mm -hmm. 
We you know her to not want to be in the middle of a photo. We're just going to pause this just for a second. I, I don't want copyrights. Y'all. Okay. So yeah, I'm believing those rumors that they got a beef going on. Maybe maybe Obi Wan try to get to Roger the coins. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Mm. Leave y'all uh, opinions and thoughts below. Now I showed you that because I spiritually saw. <laughs> oh man, listen. Let me show you what I saw. Hold on. As she walks from here to there, okay, she's wearing a spirit. She's wearing a spirit. Not of the light, okay? Because let me tell you and make you a promise right now. When I'm a billionaire, <laughs> okay, um, my whole thing is I will never be able to do something like this prance down a walkway to promote my movie about slavery keeping that spirit alive in people's mental you know capacities um while there's millions of children being kidnapped when there's millions of children being blown up priorities and this wouldn't be one of them like, I understand what's going on. And she definitely understands what's going on. And I just feel like this is trickery. I feel like this is the spirit of evil. I feel like they're promoting to keep this energy alive. They're trying to get everybody on it. Look, watch, the, watch her demeanor. Uh, I just want to know... What did Ofer do to Raja? Like, check this out. Look how she walk up, right? They all walk in. And as she walks through, they're all chanting probably a song from um from the color purple, you know, that they incorporated in there, you know. But it's the chanting. It's the bebopping. Like, I'm a billionaire. Nobody cares if there's children being murdered. We have bigger issues, you know. Um... I'm I'm a billionaire coming through, you know. My house was saved in Hawaii. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget these underground bunkers that are popping up from Mark Zuckerberg. Don't forget that. So, okay, so let's move on. Um, so Taraji, it brought me to an interview after I watched that, you know, later on in the day, an interview popped up with Taraji. OK, and I got mad and that is what the whole point of this video is about. After I got mad, spirit gave me a message. Spirit gave me a message and I'm going to share it with you. So give me a minute. Let me get that video. OK, so I came across this one. OK, it might not have been this precise one, but it's about this interview. And then I came across another one. And by the second one, I was I was already mad when I heard the first one. And I'll tell you why I was mad. And, you know, we'll, we'll get through all of it. OK, mm -hmm. so this is what's being said here. One more time. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um. Mm -hmm. Pause. So she, the, the, the lady, the interviewer, somebody, I don't know who said it. They said, and somebody said that you had the audacity. Okay, did you hear that part? The audacity. When, when I hear this woman speak, these sound like words Oprah would say. It sounds like Oprah wrote them and she's reading them. Listen again. Hmm. Are you thinking about it? Um... Oh, this one don't show that part. Well, yeah, she asks, you know, she says something about her leaving the industry that you had the audacity to say that you wanted to leave because um, she didn't want to do the movie, The Color Purple. Mm. I'm just tired of working. So hard, being gracious at what I do, 
getting paid a fraction of the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of hearing my sister say the same thing over and over. Mm -hmm. um, you get tired. Mm -hmm. I hear people go, you work a lot. Yeah. Well, have to. The math ain't mathing. Mm -hmm. And when you start working a lot, you know, you have a team. Mm -hmm. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. The mm -hmm. fact that we're... Just avoiding copyrights. Hold on. Do, 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 do. There's a whole entire team behind That's us. Right. They have to get paid. So when you hear someone saying, oh, such and such made $10 million. No, that's not that. That didn't make it to their account. Mm -hmm. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. That's right. Okay. So at this point, I'm already angry. Okay. And I'll tell you why I'm angry. I'm angry um, in this point of time because I'm not angry anymore. But listen. I was angry at this point because, you know, she's crying tears that, you know, they they said, OK, 10 mil, you know, but that's not what ends up in the bank account. Maybe only like two to three, four mil ends up in the bank account. OK, and I'm angry because it's like here you are crying that, you know, you're not getting the money you deserve. You know, meanwhile, there's people that don't even have a dollar in a bank account. That are working. <laughs> OK, literally living bill to bill to bill. OK, so I'm angry at this point. And I even wrote that in somebody's comment. I was like, you know, uh, what did I say? Oh, geez, I don't remember. But anyways, I was upset. Right. So finish this interview so we could go to the next and I'll explain. OK, so do the math. Now we have five million. Your team is getting 30 percent or whatever your team is off of what you gross. Not more. after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. Mm. So. I just I'm I'm, a, I'm only human and and it seems every time I do something and I break another glass ceiling when it's time to renegotiate I'm at the bottom again like I never did what I just did and I'm just tired. tired. I'm, I know that feeling. <laughs> tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know. Mm -hmm. Cause what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is that telling me? What is it telling me? Yeah. And what does it tell me? Mm. Yeah. You know? And if I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the fuck am I doing? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. I don't, don't apologize. I, I think it's an important message for people to hear because... So now we understand that first video I showed you, how Taraji was... Did I ever show you that part? I don't think I showed you that part. Um, well, Taraji looked very uncomfortable. She was looking up in the air, like trying to hold back tears. Like she looked very uncomfortable next to, oh, oh, okay. We could even call him P. Okay. Let's call it P. We'll call it op. <laughs> um, so op, right. Uh, is going around prancing around like the things, you know, she out here begging for people to give money. <laughs> to help Lahaina, remember that? Her and Rock, yeah. Asking people for money. Meanwhile, you guys together literally could have helped everybody, every single person. <laughs> so, let's finish this up, I'm sorry. We see the lights, camera, action. Yep, yep. And then and they tell so me glamorous. we don't yes. translate overseas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm tired of hearing that my entire career, 20 plus years in the game. And I hear the same thing and I see what you do for another production. And when it's time for us to go to bed, you don't have any money. Mm. They play in your face. Mm -hmm. And I'm just supposed to smile and grin and bear it and just keep like mm -hmm. enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like she wants out the game, right? So now I go to this video. Hold on. All right, so after this video, after this one, I received my, my message, okay? Let me just restart this. And almost had to walk away from Color Purple. What? Yes, ma'am. So the feeling I already had about this Color Purple movie was, I'm not watching. Same with the whole Obama movie on Netflix. I didn't watch that. Why? Because if we all watch it, it's easier for it to be manifested and way faster Okay, what better way you have to visualize, you know, and believe for manifestations to come through, okay? And what better way 
to get a manifestation out there faster if everybody believes and visualizes details in it for it to happen. Okay. Um, now listen to what she says. So she almost had to walk away from the color purple. Damn. Who said what? <laughs> it's still not math, and I'm really getting tired of black women having the same story. It's breaking my heart. Like 20 plus in the game, it breaks my heart. It's like every time you achieve something really incredible, it's almost like the industry looks at it as a fluke. Like, ah, oh, that was like some one-time thing. So you fall back to the bottom and you got to negotiate and fight tooth and nail to get what you made the last time when where's my raise? I haven't, had, I haven't seen a raise in my income since Proud Mary. So here... Again, talking about her money ain't mathin', right? And I'm upset still at this point. And I'm like, I'm, I'm more upset because, you know, you're sitting up here crying about the money, yet you make more money than anybody I know. Well, you know, I know a few people. So, I mean, you understand what I'm saying. The average person don't got the money that you mathin' with, okay? Yeah, you're doing things, but... Are those things really worth millions of dollars when they're literally designed to just be distractions? And we know who withholds all of the distractions, right? So now we're getting into something else. And we'll, I'll tell you in a minute. And almost had to walk away from color purple. What? Yes, ma'am. Who said what? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because you know what? If I don't take a stand, how am I making it easy for fa Pause. So, the comment I wrote was, I don't feel sorry for her. I don't feel sorry for her that she's crying, that she's, you know, not making the $10 million, you know, that was in budget for the movie, whatever, for her. I'm not, I, I don't, that's, it don't phase me. I'm not, like... No, <laughs> I don't feel bad for her. I'm sorry. And this is what I wrote. I said, she knew exactly. She knew exactly what she was doing when she signed those contracts. Okay. And I, I think they cut it off. But in that first one, she says, she might even say in this one, like you have to sell your soul. That's what she says. And about two seconds after that is when I got, um, if I'm, if I'm thinking right, I think it was this video, but like after I watched it, it was like two seconds later, I got the message from spirit. So let's finish this so I can Tasia get into that. and Danielle and Hallie and, and, and Felicia. So what, why, why am I doing this? If it's all just for me, what the, why are you here? We are to service each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. Boom. That's when I got the message. That was what she said. Okay. So now that we got through all the, <clears throat> the tea that's already out there, right? Now I can explain my, my message that I got. Now, Taraji, I believe just from the message, this is what I got. What I'm about to tell you, everything. Taraji... Signed the contract, obviously, right? And Taraji does say, and we all know, when you do that, it's basically like selling your soul. You have to do and perform the acts that are required of you by them for this amount of money, okay? Now, I feel like she was down with it. She was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And she made that choice, okay? But, like she just said, let's rewind what she just said. We need to figure it out each other. God is very clever. He put us on this earth and he made us all look different. He made it complicated. We need to figure it out. And we can. And we can. Because I just did. Taraji had to be down with it at that moment in time of her life. Taraji had to be okay with the opposite of light. At that point of her life, to get her foot in the door to be next to the top evil dog. 
who's an op. Remember? Op. <laughs> so, the thing is, people can change if they want to. I know this for a fact. Okay? And what Spirit showed me is basically... They needed Taraji in the door so that when her conscious starts waking up and speaking to her, okay, because look at her eyes. She's woken up. That's a light worker. That's a star seed right there, guys. That's a star seed. And she was placed there on purpose. She couldn't get there without the darkness, okay? She's going to be exposing so much and it's going to bring a domino effect. There is so much going on spiritually that people can't comprehend. You can have an idea of it. But the, the, the whole mass of it can't comprehend it. You know, um... But that was my message. She was a sleeper cell. She had to go through the darkness to get her foot in the door. So that when they close the door and accept her and truly believe her. That this, this is what she chose. And they trust her. She can turn her light on and brighten the whole room. With just her energy alone. When I say brighten up the whole room, I mean awaken. Awaken them all. So they can be held accountable. That's what it's all about. The accountability. That thing nobody wants to take. All right. That was a little heavy, but yeah. Um, that was the message. So I'm not mad at her no more. I can't be. She's a she's a soul sister. I can't I can't be mad at her. This is part of what she had to go through to snap out of it. Literally snap out of the spells. She sees it, she feels it, she knows it. What she's going to do is her choice. But she's strong enough for it just in case she sees this. She, you're definitely strong enough for it. You wouldn't be made <laughs> if you weren't. You were made exactly how you need to be with exactly the amount of frequencies and energies within you and vibrations to conquer it. But it's not just you. So don't feel like the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders. It's all of us. We all have this job just in different ways. But we all have to wake up at the same time. That's the only way it's going to work. So I love you, babes. Um, can I just throw this in? I there's an there's a planetary system in our in our solar system that don't belong there. That wasn't there, that is there now. And it's causing a lot of crap happening. Um, so just be aware of that with the earthquakes, volcanoes, tornadoes, you know how it goes. I always say that every time there's some type of meteor that goes by, um, it, it brings an uproar. So yeah. I'm out of here. Love you, babes.